watching guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up or create uh, a bit defender rescue cd on uh, a cd or you can use a usb flash drive now these are essential for scanning for malware and also you can use them for backing up data and a lot of people always ask me what is the purpose of live cds uh, windows pe and stuff like that and the reason for these are they're very useful uh, to boot up to that disk or usb flash drive when the pc won't boot maybe it's malware related maybe you've got a windows corruption or something like that and you can boot up to these live environments where you can then run scans or backup data or do other repairs uh, from that environment so let's first set up our rescue cd from bitdefender now you can pick these up from uh, Bitdefender's website here. I will leave the link in the video description. You can see the main ISO file for the Bitdefender Rescue CD is 667 uh, megabytes of making of this video. And also you can see the sticky fire there is a very small 4 megabytes and you can download that. And this will allow you to create the bootable USB flash drive. And uh, you can also create uh, a CD if you want to and boot to that. Most people use USB flash drives nowadays. Now it's always advisable to have one of these on a cheap USB flash drive so you don't have to keep creating it. You've always got it there. It will allow you to update it uh, via the update method and I'll show you that a little bit later on. So I've got these downloaded already and uh, here we have them on our desktop. You're also gonna need a USB flash drive. Now I've already got one plugged into the system which I'll show you and you can see here this one's uh, 32 gigabytes and uh, you can buy these pretty cheap nowadays. SanDisk uh, do these pretty cheap. So you just need to get yourself a cheap one of these and keep hold of it and then just put a label on it. Whether you want to use Kaspersky, Bitdefender or something like that, it's entirely up to you. So here we have the actual program. So I'm gonna run this as administrator just to make sure we've got all the privileges And uh, once this uh, populates, there we go. So this is a very simple process. Now you can uh, download from the internet from here if you want to, to the destination of your choice, if you want to do that. And you can also select an existing ISO image, which I've already got. So I'm gonna do that method. So I'm gonna go to my uh, desktop here. There we go. And all I need to do here is select uh, the desktop and also select the ISO image which I've downloaded so I'm going to click open and you can see it's now pointing here all I need to do now is click on next and it's going to try to find our removable drive as you can see here I'm going to select this from the drop down menu just make sure you select the right drive for your USB flash drive if you don't see it there you can always hit the refresh button and you can see here it's saying you should be at least one gigabyte in size. The drive should be formatted using the FAT32 file system and the drive should be empty. This, uh, while this utility will overwrite existing files, you've recommended that you erase all the data from the drive before continuing. So let's go ahead and do that here. So my one is uh, got some stuff on it. So I'm gonna right click on this drive here can go to here and do it this way but a lot easier to show you right click on this and I'm just gonna format this uh, drive here to make sure it's clean that way we know we've got a, a drive that's working right so I'm gonna go bit defender just like that quick format will be fine and make sure you're on fat 32 that's what they want it on need to do that again That'll do. And we're just gonna quickly uh, erase all the data on there. It'll take a bit of time. And there we go. So we're now all ready to go. We can go back to here and we can click on next. 
and it will start to extract the files and it will start to put those onto a USB flash drive. You can see here it's going to our E drive here. Now again, these are great to have available uh, for when you need them. It's no good uh, creating one when you've got a problem, just in case you've only got one computer. It's always good to have one of these at hand so you can always uh, boot to it. OK, that's now been completed, as you can see here. And all we need to do here is click Finish. And if we take a look here, you'll see all the files have been put on here. And we can boot to this now. But you will need to change the boot order to uh, boot to that device. And I'll show you how to do that next. Now, when you reboot your system, you're going to need to tap either F1, F2, Escape, Delete, or F12 key. And this will get you into the BIOS. Then you need to go into your settings and then your boot tab here. As you can see now, your BIOS may look different, uh, but they're pretty much act all the same way. Next, I'm going to go into boot mode selection. Now you can see here legacy and UEFI. I've got mine selected to legacy and UEFI. Yours may be on UEFI. So select which one you want to do. I like the legacy one. Now also boot option one. Now you want to make sure that this is your USB flash drive. In this case, mine is SanDisk and that is correct. Now I'm going to go into the advanced tab here. And I'm just going to make sure that the USB configuration is set to uh, legacy here. So I'm going to go into here. Legacy USB support is enabled. And uh, we're going to say save this. Yes. And then I'm going to press F10 and save and exit and it will boot up. So all we need to do here now is choose what you want from the menu. So you can see here, start with Defender Rescue CD in English. And you've got some other languages here as well. So what we're going to do here is go into the start the Bitdefender Rescue CD in English. Press the Enter key. And of course we have to just agree to their terms and conditions. And straight away it will go into update mode and download the updates uh, for this. So you've got the very latest um, malware and virus definitions here. So it will detect all the malware and viruses on that system. So if the system is non-bootable, you just boot to this. Obviously you'd need to have another computer to create this, but then you can run scans on that system via this disk here. And you can see here, we also have uh, a remote support software here, which we can uh, remote into. And we can take a look at that. And I'll show you how, how to uh, back up your data using this as well in another video. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. That's how you can create uh, the Bitdefender Rescue CD and then uh, run scans by just running the scan here with this program. It's very straightforward and easy to do. So the giveaway for the Acronis True Image 2019 has finished and I'm going to draw the winners here so you can see them. And of course, I will blur out their email addresses so you don't see it. So what I want to do is uh, draw five prizes here and we're just going to hit the draw winners. And you can see winners to draw is five. And we're going to draw this right now. So we've got our five winners, as you can see here on the screen. And I will be emailing all five of these winners. So hopefully they will respond to me within 48 hours. And then I can then send them their prize. And uh, I hope this one helps you out. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.